The Salton Sea, 35 miles long, 15 miles wide. Will Worthington is a volunteer pilot for Lighthawk, a company that works with conservation groups, educating people on the changing landscape of the sea. To go up in the air and share with other people that view, the, uh, it's a very unique uh, view from above. Taking off from thermal, Clear. giving us an aerial view of what's really happening. Our guide, Frank Ruiz, says the Salton Sea is receding at an alarming rate, about six inches a year, exposing toxic lake bed, which is evident from the air. The Colorado River is, is going into the 19-year drought, and, and that is providing less and less water to the Salton Sea. 500 years ago, this was all underwater. These homes, once waterfront properties, these canals now bone dry. And these bright color pockets, an indication of just how contaminated the water has become. The water that you see, and of course, you know, the water that comes in from Mexico, so it's, it's a lot of people will say that it's highly contaminated, so that you're going to see that water changes in colors because of all the uh, different elements, you know, that brings in. As the sea continues to recede, it's exposing hundreds of miles of fine, dried up lake bed. Here, they look like beaches, but when the wind blows, that toxic silt is carried to nearby communities. It will easily pick up, you know, uh, as, it, as the lake recedes, it can pick up more of the particles. Exacerbating the already poor air quality and creating a major public health concern. It contains high toxic metals like uh, arsenic, uh, selenium, copper. Those devoted to combating the biological crisis here say seeing it firsthand is essential. And it's more than you can get by just watching a video. It's more than you can get from the ground in many cases. It, it really is an eye-opener. For News Channel 3, I'm Madison Weil.